that have put this together. A lot of good folks have worked very hard to make this entire festival possible. So, first our festival sponsors. Now these are the people who write checks. Because, did you all pay admission to get in here? No, no. This is a free event. These companies are the ones who have written the check that have put this together. A lot of good folks have worked very hard to make this entire festival possible. So, first our festival sponsors. Now these are the people who write checks. Because, did you all pay admission to get in here? No, no. This is a free event. These companies are the ones who have written the check. Councilman Wade Fowler. And Councilwoman Katie Ann Davies. I know you wanted the speeches, but what can I say? So now, let's welcome the color guard from Westover High School, Junior ROTC Raider team, under the leadership of Lieutenant Colonel Kevin DiCasio. Members of this Junior ROTC Raider team are also carrying our nation signs today. May we pay our respect to the flags that represent this great country and those who have fought to keep it free. So maybe you have been here for a while and you remember when Fable and Fort Bragg had the honor to become home to Forcecom, Forces Command. Well, we got some great folks that moved to Fayetteville. And these are some of the greatest. Let us welcome the Army Ground Forces Band. Under the direction of Commander and Conductor, Captain Daniel Tobin and Drum Major, First Sergeant Stephen Spawn. Ladies and gentlemen, the Armed Ground Forces Band. Let's hear it. Thank you so much. So the treat of the day is after the parade is over, you all stick around when they play the Star Spangled Banner. It's essential to being a good citizen of Fayetteville, all right? And if you all could make some room, take it back. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome our first media sponsor, the WRAL News Van, WRAL TV Fayetteville, coverage you can count on. WRAL has been a strong financial supporter of this festival and community for many years. Be sure to stop by their booth in Festival Park and say hello and tell them thank you and tell them they cannot get enough good news coverage of Fayetteville. We are really a great community. Tell those good folks up at the Triangle. Thank you so much, WRAL. We love you. And next, Fayetteville State's University Global Scholars community. Welcome to them. They are part of the International Education Center and Honors Program. The Fulbright Foreign Language Teaching Assistant Program enables young educators to refine their teaching skills, 
increase their English language proficiency and extend their knowledge of the cultures and customs of the United States while engaging in non-degree studies at accredited post-secondary U.S. education institutions. That's a mouthful. And so is your name, but these are great, great bunch of Broncos. So let's hear it for FSU Global Scholars Community. Thanks for coming out, guys. That group consists of students from countries such as China, Jordan, India, Jamaica, the Bahamas, and Grenada. That's amazing. Thank you so much. And next, Methodist University's International Club. All right. They bring the world to Fayetteville's Methodist University Club. It's made of positive international students who study at Methodist University. The club's goals are to impact the community by increasing cultural awareness, diversity, and a great togetherness among our nations. The countries represented Afghanistan to Costa Rica, France to Mongolia, Swaziland to Zimbabwe. The motto at Methodist University is multiple nations, one world. Thank you, Methodist University International Club. Go for it. And next, our First Nation, the nation of Belize. They are represented by Fayetteville's Belizean Connection. This group has about 30 families, mostly military affiliated. They bring the culture of Belize to Fayetteville by providing displays and information to schools on cultural days. They can also be found at different events at Fort Bragg and throughout the community. Formerly known as British Honduras, Belize is the only country in Central America where English is the official language. The country lives on the east coast of Central America and is bordered by Mexico and North to the north and Guatemala to the west and south. Belize is known as Mother Nature's best kept secret. They have a population of 334,000, but I think we got the group with the most spirit right here today. Thank you, Belize. Here's another media sponsor. This is Q98, today's best variety. And they are playing music for the international culture. All right. Thank you, Q98. And so here they come, folks from the Caribbean. The Caribbean American Connection. The name Caribbean is derived from the Caribs, one of the dominant American Indian groups in the region during the European contact in the 15th century. The rich history of the Caribbean is set against the backdrop of clear, brilliant water and continuous sunshine. The population has about 11 million to Montserrat with 4,000 people, and they are a blend of colonial mainstays and ethnic groups. Tainos, East Indians, and Africans. Each island has a unique identity shaped by European colonists, African heritage of slaves, and the legacies of the native Indian tribe. They are creative and colorful in the visual arts and hold a very important place throughout our region. The Caribbean is indeed a colorful melting pot of people and cultures. Each of the young people in the group represents one of the many Caribbean islands, not to exclude our USA adaptation. Let's say thank you to the Caribbean Connection. So now you know that at noon today, the International Cafes open up down there at Festival Park. This is just the beginning of a weekend. Never heard of this, unless you bought something in the last 24 hours. Let us welcome our great friends from China.
China is represented by the Chinese Association of Fayetteville. The characters on today's parade are Zong and Goa. Zong means center since the ancient Chinese scholars believed that China was the center of the universe. Gua means country. When combined, these two characters stand for China. On the back of the men's t-shirts today is the character that is pronounced Fu. Fu means good fortune, blessings, and happiness. China is one of the oldest countries with more than 5,000 years of history. Its population has reached 1.3 billion people. Historically, China's dynasties have revealed the ancient cultures steeped in philosophy, literature, and art. Great friends of our country, great members of our community. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a warm welcome to our good friends and neighbors from China. Thank you so much. So everybody asks, how can I get involved in the International Folk Festival? If you see a float or a group come by and they are a part of your national heritage, that's the beautiful thing about America is we're all from someplace else, everybody, just about, and you notice that that group is a little lacking in membership, you can contact one of those people and next year you can march in this parade. I've seen it happen time and time again. So remember, these are all your friends and neighbors representing your heritage. Next, let us welcome 107.7 FM, JNZ WUKS, with music from Germany. Thank you, 107.7. Our good friends from Germany, the German Speaking Women's Network, founded in 2013, one of the original member groups of the International Folk Festival 35 years ago was our great friends from Germany. They've all aged out, but it's great to see you ladies here today. Anybody with German heritage, get involved and come back. Thank you so much. The capital of Germany is Berlin, and we love you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Coming up next, the beautiful country of Ghana. Located on the west coast of Africa, the second country in Africa to obtain independence. It was formerly known as the Gold Coast because of the abundance of gold deposits found by the Europeans. After years of colonial domination, Ghana became independent on March 6, 1957. Its capital is Accra, and Ghana still has large deposits of gold and diamonds and is a leading producer of cocoa, coffee, shea butter, and timber. The population is about 18 million people who speak more than 20 different languages, but the official language is English. The Ghana flag has horizontal stripes, red for the struggle, gold for the rich land, green for its bright future, and a black star in the center, the symbol of freedom. Ghanaians are hard-working people who continue to work towards a self-sufficient society. Now the clothes worn by the people of Ghana are as colorful as their flag. They are home of the famous color, Pente cloth. Let's hear it for Ghana! For the first time, the International Folk Festival is having a little fundraiser, so you may see people, there are a couple of places out here you can buy 50-50 tickets, okay? It's a dollar, up to five dollars for 10 tickets, and the prize right now is approaching a thousand dollars. That prize is gonna be given away on Sunday evening, so look for one of the spots where you can help support the Folk Festival. Okay, and now, I know these folks. These are our good friends from Greece. Hopa! 
the birthplace of Western civilization, democracy, philosophy, medicine, theater, classical architecture, mythology, and the Olympics, and most of the great restaurants in Fayetteville and Cumberland County. Our good friends from Greece. Hoppa! Again, one of the original groups 35 years ago. We can't thank you enough. Hoppa! <laughs> and next, Rock 103 Media Vehicle with music from Granada. Rock 103 is Carolina's best rock. Another great media sponsor. And let's welcome Granada and the Spice Islands. The Spice Islands Association is dedicated to introducing the virtues of the country of Grenada and the beautiful islands of Careco and Kete, Martinique, which are internationally known as the Spice Islands. If you've not been there, you're missing something. They are absolutely beautiful places. The flag is red, yellow, and green. The color green represents agriculture, the main resource of the country. Granada produces nutmeg, cinnamon, and cloves in great abundance. Let's say thank you to Grenada and the Spice Islands. And next, let us welcome Haiti. Officially the Republic of Haiti, they are located in the western third of the island of Hispaniola. The rest of the island is occupied by the Dominican Republic. It sits between the Caribbean Sea and the North Atlantic Ocean. Haiti is occupied by just shy of 10 million people, and fully 2.1 million of the population lives in Port-au-Prince. Haiti has two official languages, French and the Haitian Creole. Their cuisine is typical of Caribbean métissage, a wonderful mixture of French and African sensibilities. It is similar to Spanish Caribbean, but unique with its strong presence of spices. Along the coast, fish, lobster, and conch are readily available. Haiti is a very fine collection of fruit and wonderful people. Thank you, Haiti. And next comes India. India once again is represented by our great friends at the Southeastern North Carolina Indian Association. India is the world's largest democracy and a rising economic giant. They are now well known across the globe for its mastery of computer technology and for its many armed gods and its famous spiritual traditions. India is also the world's most ancient surviving civilization. You look out there and you're gonna see a lot of your friends and a lot of the people who support so many of the civic and cultural events here in Cumberland County. We thank you for our good friends from India. Let's hear it. You can probably see your doc out there, I'll bet. Miss New York was recently crowned.